Like any old garden, this spring walk has changed over time. It's a mix of flowering annuals, some bulbs, and many spring flowering shrubs that are well suited to Sydney's conditions. It was very much associated with rhododendrons, particularly azaleas. We're gonna have a look at one of the rhododendrons that we selected for this garden when it was renovated between 2002 and 2004. So this is rhododendron vicianum, beautiful white blooms just glowing in the spring sunlight. It's named for a very famous family of nurserymen and plant collectors. So Veach and Sons was the nursery and this is named after John Veach. It comes from Myanmar, Thailand and Laos where it grows up in the mountains between 900 and 2400 meters. It was selected for the spring walk because it's proven really well adapted to Sydney's hot humid conditions and it also has the added benefit of scales on the undersurface of the leaves that limit the amount that the leaves are attacked by sap sucking insects and that was one of the big problems here on the spring walk when it was large banks of rhododendrons and particularly azalea type rhododendrons that lace bug was a really common problem on the on the azaleas but this one's a little bit more resistant to that it doesn't grow very large so it only grows to about 1.5 meters it needs really good drainage and in the wild this will even grow as an epiphyte so it will grow attached to other trees i nearly forgot to mention that this also has beautiful and gently fragrant flowers and the fragrance really wafts up and down our spring walk